Hey guys, how's it going? Lunar Complex here, and today I'm going to show you how to make the beginning of your video game so much better with title cards or splash screens, and then you get to your title, and instead of the default text menu options like uh, new game, load game, all that stuff, it's actually going to be pictures there, and they can switch pictures based on if the cursor is selected there. I'm going to demonstrate to you exactly what I mean. For example, in my game Dante no Kodomo, we have a title screen here, which is RPG Maker MV showcasing the what I'm making the game in. And then we have kind of like a little logo thing I decided to put together. And then you can click through this to hurry it up. And then I have the title. It's just a background image. You can actually independently move this title name if you want to, or you could just all put it on the image. Uh, the reason why you want to probably have it separate from the background is because the, the particle effect here is going above the background, but under this image here so it's kind of neat to have it like that and then over here we have your typical options here except you may notice that they're actually pictures kind of and this, uh, you could put anything you want there as long as it's an image and then it just changes while your cursor is being selected and it's also touch sensitive and if we hit credits here I had to kind of not use Yanfly's credits so the credits um, that I'm using actually come with this whole menu change and I'll go over more of that. But yes, you could do so much more with this plugin. I'm going to show you where I actually got it from. All right, guys, so I provided a link in the description. And if you click it, it should get you to this website. This is Altilier RGS. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. Basically, it's this amazing person that provides a whole bunch of plugins for your RPG game. And one of them is a master file of all the plugins available. And so if you go to this page, you just uh, click download here. You should get a file. You should first download an archive, and once you extract it, you should get these two files. And if you go into this file right here, go into the game, you should load up this. And if you go ahead and hit play, we have our nice little splash screen. And we could click through to uh, progress right to the menu, but we're not going to yet. And then we have the uh, who it's by and everything. And then we have all of this effect that's happening on the main menu screen. And I'm going to go over as much of this as I can. There's actually something left out here, which is like a circle thing that's rotating. But I will include that in the tutorial. And there's a neat little cursor that is pretty cool. I do want to let you guys know that everyone is free to use these scripts in commercial and non-commercial projects. Free to edit them and adapt them. Be aware that some of the stuff included in the master file that I downloaded does include some copyrighted material, but the plugins themselves should not be at all copyrighted by anyone other than this person right here. If you want to contact them, Mog Hunter is right here. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I created a project file, just a blank file, and if we go and open it, we have nothing here, so if we hit play or demo, we get this boring kind of thing and it's just, yeah, you can't really, th there's not much to it. So we want to change that. So when you create this project file, what you're going to first have to do is go into its project folder here, its file system, and grab the master file system, and we're going to have to drag and drop some things into it from the master one. So if we go to JS and we go to plugins, there's going to be some plugins that we need to grab to actually make this work. All right, guys, so the number of plugins we're going to have to drag and drop over are six, and one of them is credits, so just mog underscore credits. The other five are all mog underscore titles, so we just grab that, copy, and paste it over. However, these aren't the only things we need to move over. We need to move over some images and folders as well. Back twice on each of these, and we go to image, all right, so the images we're going to have to grab are in system. The first one we're going to copy over is right here. So credits A. We're going to put that into system. We're going to grab credits A and B. So if we just copy these over, and mind you, these are the exact same as the demo file, but we're going to just have these as placeholders. So we just edit these with some image file later. Basically, credits A is the background of when you hit credits, it's going to show the background there. And then credits B is what's going to be on that background. So if we go back and go into titles one, we don't need to copy world map because it's already in there. But basically copy the rest here and paste it into the titles one folder. Go back, go into titles two. And this is where you get your really cool cursor option stuff. And your splash screens are here as well. And the magic circle thing I mentioned before. Go ahead, copy all of this and just paste it into your titles to folder. Now I believe that's all we need to do right now, but I'm going to keep these up just in case and we're going to go ahead and edit our project file. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to this little puzzle piece icon plugin manager and double click 
and we're going to add some plugins here. Now to order these plugins correctly, we can move this over and go ahead and grab our master file here by Mog and open the plugin manager there and just kind of copy exactly what's here. So honestly, I think if you click there, hold shift down arrow, copy, paste it there, it's all the same. All right, and then there's that extra plugin, which is the credits plugin, and there it is. So I'm actually gonna grab both of these as a nice little indent line right there. And then uh, we have our credits here, and it just goes through our credits. All right, after all of that, we can finally test our file here, just to see what happens if we've missed anything. So we have the first splash screen, we have the second splash screen, and like I said before, we're just gonna change all these images with some editor. And then here we go. I believe that's everything we needed, and if we go ahead and go to plugins, and we go to title particles, we can turn this magic circle to true, uh, the magic circle visible to true. And if we go ahead and save and demo the click through just to have it progress, we see a little magic circle there. If you want to add something that rotates or, you know, stuff like that. Now, the only setback to these plugins is that they're not in English. So I believe they're in Portuguese and that's not too much of a problem, but it does make things a little bit more difficult if you're trying to figure out what that even means. But moving on, so the first plugin here, mog underscore title splash screen, um, basically does what it says. It, it displays the splash screens before the actual beginning menu of the game. All right, so splash frames is basically the number of splash title screen things you want to show before the actual main menu of the game. And keep in mind, if you do change this number, say like to four, the number of splash screens are the number there minus one so it's going to start with zero and you're not actually going to have a four for the name of a splash screen because i guess that's just how they set it up it's not really a problem just keep in mind that all right so splash duration it's basically the amount of time a splash screen is displayed before the next one shows up and then the fade duration is how long it fades away to show the next one and then full screen mode is full screen mode loads the game into full screen whenever it runs uh to get out of it i believe you hit f4 all right, so the second plugin, Title Background, basically is just taking two images. I believe Background 2 is overlaid on top of Background 1 and move them whichever direction, position you want them to while the game is loading. All right, so with this Title Background plugin, I found something very interesting. It doesn't seem to work too well with the Himawari, um, which is basically the character showing up in the flower and the rotating of them every so often. Basically, I'll, I'll try to, and explain this to you guys. So if I decide to not do anything and change these scrolls to zero, so don't move the background at all and I hit play. The first background is the clouds. The second one is the flowers on the bottom there. They're still moving and rotating, which is a little odd, but if you turn this off, and uh, we basically could pick anything we want here as a kind of, as a picture. So if we pick magic circle for background two and uh, background one for background one, we go ahead and hit play. It basically shows those two backgrounds. Uh, so it's like nothing ever happened. But if you want to kind of make them move or something, so I'm just putting in random numbers here like that, you can now move them once you get to the main menu of the games, like that. So, I mean, that, that's pretty interesting, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and turn these both off. It gives you more control of whichever you decide to pick for these two. That's kind of neat. And now for the title, Himawari. This is with all that character stuff that happens. Uh, so the number of characters you want to be shown on the screen, uh, the character are X and Ys, the flower X and Ys, and uh, rotation true and rotation time 300s. Basically, when you utilize this plugin, uh, a character gets displayed like this, and then the flower. Character, flower. And then character, flower. And then after 300 time, it rotates a bit. And then it rotates again. So that's kind of neat. It's a little particle effect thing there. And if you want to change any of those characters, you just go into the titles one, and you just change these. And I imagine since they add a counter here, that you're allowed to add as many characters as you want. And now we get to title particles. Uh, this one's pretty easy to understand. There's the particle number, so the amount of particles that can be shown on the screen. We have the particle's x-axis speed, so it's horizontal um, 
speed, and then we have its vertical speed, which is negative 2. Because y on a computer, the y-axis is um, greater if you go down. So if we change this to 2, we should see particles falling down instead. Yeah, so that's kind of neat. I'm going to go ahead and change that back to negative 2. And now we have a speed, so the velocity of the particles. So if we go ahead and put in 1 for that, or 0.1, we should see the particles moving very fast. Yeah. So with blend mode, you have three options. The first mode is basically a replacement where the colors get replaced. And then the second mode should be additive where the colors get added together. And the third mode should be subtraction where the colors subtract from each other. So I'm gonna leave that back at one. All right, OX and OY. What I've noticed when I changed this was that if it's at point or 0 0.5, the particles that spawn, they, they go in a straight line. And then if you change it to one, they go in a straight line, but they kind of orbit while they're going in that straight line. So if you imagine our planet Earth moving, it, uh, the particle will be the moon that's moving around it. That's, that's what I've been able to figure out by changing these numbers and going to the menu and seeing for myself what happens. All right, and so for the magic circle, we have, to, uh, we have true and false to either show or not show it. We have the coordinates of the center of the entire picture that that circle is. We have its speed and we have the blend. Like before, uh, you have three choices, normal, add, subtract. All right, moving on to title picture commands or com for short. All right, so we have title sprite. Uh, if you set this to true, what it does is it adds an extra layer on top of everything else, which is gonna be labeled title in your titles too. And then we have its position if, it's, if you need to change it, its X and Y coordinates. Then we have cursor. Uh, the cursor basically for this is labeled cursor in your titles too and you can change it and make it look however you want. We also have a cursor wave animation so it moves back and forth while it's where it should select a command. And then we have its offsets. So 8 and negative 10. If your cursor is not lined up correctly where you want it, you would just change these until you figure it out where... I, I believe it's in relationship to the actual command's position. And then we have our command position placements, so the X and Y coordinates of our four commands. There are 5 through 10 on here as well, but since we're not using those, we're going to ignore those for now and just focus on these four. So notice how these are in the center of the screen here, these command positions. So if we wanted to quickly change those, we would just go into picture command, title picture command, and then change these values to something. Just keep in mind that the greater the Y value is, the further down on the screen it will be, and sometimes it might show out of the screen, and that's very annoying, so you guys kind of have to keep putting in numbers of, if you know the resolution of your video game, it should be fine to know exactly where you need to show the command. And the images for the commands are right here, uh, command 0 through 3, and remember this is actually command 1, 2, 3, 4. And the way that these command pictures work is that what is selected is the top half of the image and what is not selected is the bottom half of the image. And they should work um, with larger or smaller pictures. All right, and now we go to the last plugin, which is credits. The command name you want it to be, if you didn't have these really cool pictures here, uh, it would show in text on the screen in the menu um, of what the credits were so you can name that whatever you want or just ignore it because it's just going to be overridden by the picture commands and then we have the scrolling speed so how fast you want it to scroll one's pretty good it's nice and slow and you can read everything whatever you put there and then if you click help uh, as i said before credits a is the background and then credits b is everything that's going to be on that background to show to the player and i mean that's basically it for everything i need to cover if you just want to change the images you should be able to do that yourself by grabbing this, uh, opening it into what I use for image editing is GIMP 2.0 or 2.8 now. All you do is erase the image and put in new images. And if you want really cool text, there is this website that is called cooltext.com. And look at all these texts right here. And what's really cool is they are free. So go ahead and grab these. And uh, what I also like to do is type in Batman and then it filters all these through Batman and this is a really cool font so I just thought I'd show you this font with you guys and um, that's what I used for my video game here with these commands right there and I don't use a cursor because I just I mean you could change it but I don't really see a use for it if the cursor could change dynamically like in a 
some Kingdom Hearts menus, that would be really cool, but since it can't, I'm just not going to use it. And then for your splash screens and everything else in the title screen, I'm actually going to go to my uh, one of my games real quick, Dante no Kodomo. If you're using one of the NFly's plugins to change the screen width and height, make sure you do so on the pictures as well, and everything should line up pretty well. But yeah, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry this came out late, but I did end up moving to a city, and now I'm going to start my actual career soon. So I will have some free time to make more videos, but I finally have at least some internet right now to try and make some videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.